Welcome to the Urban Survivor mm -hmm. channel and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Douglas Field S from Tokyo Pipe Co. The Douglas Lighter is a rebirth of American creativity matched with Japanese craftsmanship, technical skill and know-how, and I want to thank Tokyo Pipe Co who sent this out to the channel for review. Before we dive in, there's a bit of backstory about the design of this lighter that's pretty interesting. The Douglas lighter was originally made in the USA in 1926 and it was considered to be a status symbol because most lighters were priced around 69 cents at that time, while this one was priced at $5. They stopped making these lighters a few years later and then a few years back, Tokyo Pipe Co. rediscovered this lighter and found that it was unable to be mass produced even by today's standards because it was a product of pure craftsmanship. This lighter is a combination of 45 parts all calculated within a 1 100th of a millimeter tolerance. Now you can buy this lighter again in a few different finishes and the one I have here today is the chrome version but you can also get it in brass, diamond cut, black ice and a few others. And if you want to learn more you can check out a link to these lighters in the description below. The Douglas Field S lighter is designed to be durable, waterproof and the wick and the body are surrounded by an integrated wind guard to make it wind resistant. Unlike most lighters, the lighter's fuel won't evaporate in a few weeks time and it can last up to a year without evaporating. It has a watertight mechanism over the wick so that when you lift up the screw in lock and tighten, it completely seals up the ignition and flint wheel. It has a threaded cap at the base of the tank with a small storage capacity for emergency reserve fuel. This is nice because if you run out of fuel, you can use the reserve tank to fill it back up and then you're good to go. The cap is sealed with yet another cap that unscrews to reveal a spare flint rod. To light this, all you have to do is push down on the ignition button and it'll light. Also, once it's lit, you don't have to hold anything down to keep it lit. And the flame will stay on until you extinguish it. You can fill this up with most kinds of lighter fluid, but I use the small 4 ounce premium lighter fluid from Zippo. The lighter is designed to be safely used even when it's slightly wet or previously immersed. This is a quick size comparison between a Zippo and the Douglas Field S lighter. The Douglas lighter is slightly heavier than the Zippo at 2.43 ounces, while the Zippo is about 2.10 ounces. The Douglas is a bit taller and the Zippo is a bit wider. Overall, the Douglas Field S is really impressive. The fact that it can actually store fuel for extended periods of time, and it even has a built-in reservoir to store additional fuel, are huge pluses. The build quality on this lighter is unlike anything I've seen in any other lighter before, and it would make an excellent everyday carry lighter or a family heirloom piece. Let me know your thoughts on the Douglas Field S in the comments below, and if you enjoyed the video be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more videos like this one.